okay so what i was telling you that for example let's suppose if its concentration during the course of reaction for example its concentration is decreases by uh, the factor of 2 for example and gets 2.5 what happened to the concentration of ozone doesn't it also decreases by the factor of 2 and changes to 2.5 right yes, so then what would be the change in the rate over here? <laughs> yes. The rate. So four times decrease. Four times decrease, Oga. It is going to be decreased by four times, right? So if it is going to be decreasing by four times, it is why? Because the overall order is the second order. So we can not say that the half life remains constant. Okay, so our prediction over here that and the explanation for this will, will be the net or the order. is we, uh, when the half lives are being constant are those cases where one of the reactant is actually uh, you know taken is in a large excess so its concentration is not affecting if you recall in the previous chapters we have an example like this where what we do we usually take the concentration of one of the reactant is in a large excess and then we can, uh, if we can plot a graph, we can easily figure out the half-life of the other one that we are getting the constant half-lives for the first order. But here, if you see both the reactants, the initial concentrations of both the reactants are taken as same. So when the one reactant changes, the concentration of other reactant is also changes and did that change is significant. That's why the overall order, uh, the overall rate would actually changes by the factor of four. That's why we are not getting the constant half-lives because the overall order is the second order. Is this clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, sir, would the half-life be decreasing? Yes, because it's a second order, so the half-life, the successive half-lives would be increasing in this case. Right. Okay, now next part. Nitrous oxide and two decomposes into its elements. Temperature, a small amount of platinum wire is added to a large amount of nitrous oxide. C. What would be the behavior of a platinum wire over here? The okay, they have, yeah, they have mentioned that platinum is a catalyst and the reaction follows zero order kinetics. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Sketch a graph on the axis below the reaction rate. Against time. 
for the we, we know about the zero order reaction that the <laughs> rate of the reaction remains constant during the course of the reaction so here the line would be like this because it's a zero order of a reaction is not going to change because it is not everyone yes, yes. <laughs> what does zero order mean saha it means in this case basically the rate is equals to rate constant k only yes sir because so it means that concentration is not affecting the rate right okay sir so when the time passes during the reaction what would happen that the concentration of the reactant decreases right sir but that decrease in the concentration is not affecting the rate of the reaction here right because it's a zero order so it means that with the time there is a no change in the speed or the rate of the reaction it it remains constant okay these are some yeah thank you okay actually this would be the explanation of this one oh. uh now sketch a graph on the axis below as the of concentration of n2 against time for this reaction so so as we discussed it is a reactant so it is going to be changed during the reaction it is going to be the concentration is going to be decrease during the reaction but that decrease is actually constant because it is not affecting the rate so it would be like this only it is not a curve it would be a straight line moving downward so this would be the graph for the concentration change in concentration over time for the zero order reaction you can easily find that graph in the lectures in the notes as well uh i shared all the shapes of the different graphs is this clear okay next part platinum behaves as a heterogeneous catalyst in this reaction okay describe the mode of action of a heterogeneous catalyst so if you recall we have discussed this that heterogeneous catalyst is the catalyst which have a different state or different phase as when compared with the reactants the one in the different phase with the reactant right so first what would happen that reactants adsorbs on the surface they actually stick to the surface of the catalyst bob bonds with the surface of the catalyst then the bonds of the reactant molecules gets weaker then re 
reaction takes place as new bonds are formed which means product is being produced and then we have a product molecules on the surface so that product desorbs from the surface which means they broke the bond from the catalyst and then uh, gets further away from the catalyst so desorbs from the surface is this understandable to everyone yes is this clear yes suggest a reason why this reaction has a zero order kinetics when the amount of nitrous oxide is large and the amount of platinum is small yes can anybody suggest me can anybody give a suggestion for this question yes can anyone suggest an answer see they are saying that there is a very small sir mai batau yes bataiye सर क्योंकि जो प्लेटिनम के जो सरफेस एरिया है उसके ऊपर कोई जगह नहीं होगी फर्दर नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड पे आने के लिए ओके ओके सो या योर आंसर इज रिलेटिवली करेक्ट बिकॉज सी देर इज अ वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ प्लेटिनम एंड फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव सो मेनी मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड ओवर हियर like this there are so many molecules so think that out of all of these molecules as all of these are reactant and why i am taking there are so many molecules because they have said that the amount is very large over here right so out of these only few few are of the reactants over there but only few molecules are actually going to stick or adsorb to the surface because the platinum is in very small amount is this understandable so all the sides of catalyst all the sides of the catalyst are occupied by the uh by the what is this n2o molecule if i am not wrong by the n2o molecules is this understandable to everyone okay now we are going to start question number 3 give me 2 minutes please yes am i audible now let's start with question number 3 data should be selected from table 3.1 in order to answer some parts of the this question okay so here we are provided with the electrode potential values an electrochemical cell can be constructed from magnesium to positive magnesium half cell and magnate and magnesium to positive iron half cell okay the standard cell potential of this cell can be calculated using the standard electrode potentials of the two half cells their e not values which means the standard electrode potential means 
we can calculate it using their E0 values. Okay. What they are asking? Define standard electrode potential. Include details of the standard conditions. Okay. You have to define and include all the standard conditions as well. So, uh, it is the voltage produced when a half cell is connected with a standard hydrogen electrode and the standard conditions are one mole per dm cube if there is a gas then when atm pressure and the temperature would be 298 kelvin or 25 degrees celsius okay now Complete the diagram below to show the electrochemical cell constructed from magnesium ion magnesium half cell and magnate ion manganese to positive ion half cell. Label your diagram. Okay. So here we would make two electrodes. They are going to connect with each other and there is a voltmeter in between, right? And then We have one salt bridge. Okay. Now, beside this, what I have to do, I have to label it. So, for example, voltmeter. This is salt bridge. If I would label this electrolyte as a magnate, then I would label over here MN2 positive ions in this electrode, and further I would label over here hydrogen ions now think if you look over here there are no hydrogen ions mentioned right but look at the half equation where i have a magnet ions i have a mn2 positive ions as well as the hydrogen ions so i would label these all three in the electrolyte is this clear so if I label this electrolyte having a magnetine, magnes, 
two positive ions and a hydrogen ion then this electrode would be labeled as platinum because all the there are ions and there is no element over here or no metal so the electrode would be platinum the other one is a having a magnesium ion and magnesium metal so then in this case the electrode would be magnesium and the electrolyte have a magnesium two positive ions in it is this understandable to everyone yes okay now what they are saying use a positive sign and a negative sign to identify the polarity of each of the two electrodes in your diagram okay let me recall you the positive sign is actually to the electrode where the reduction is taking place and the negative sign corresponds to the electrode where oxidation is taking place so in this half cell the one reaction is this one which is taking place and the other half cell this reaction is taking place because we have a magnesium ion and the magnesium two positive ion so see its value is minus 2.38 and so it would be lower than the uh, e not value of the other half cell which one would be positive 1.52 so which one is higher so if it's an higher value then it means here reduction is occurring and if here reduction is occurring then it would be a negative electrode so i would mark this half cell as a negative and this value is lower which means here oxidation is taking place and if it's oxidation then this electrode would be positive so i would mark this one a positive is this understandable to everyone yes is this part is clear yes okay now calculate the standard cell potential e not cell of this cell so we know the expression to find the e not cell it suggests that the electrode potential of the half cell where reduction is taking place minus electrode potential of the half cell where oxidation is taking place so the reduction is occurring at the manganese magnate half cell having the electrode potential of positive 1.52 then minus e not oxidation which is the minus 2.38 so minus 2.38 so can anybody solve and tell me the answer I think zero sir 3.90 3.90 volt is this clear yes, sir. now they are asking for yes, constructing sir. sorry yeah e not cell values hoti hai jo jiski badi value hoti hai wo reduce ho rahi hoti hai aur dusri species ko oxidize kar rahi hoti hai na yeah yes construct the equation of the for the cell reaction yes sir so in part 3 uh, so negative this key value lower hogi sorry negative electrode wohi hogi this key e not value lower hogi yes uh, so no. Negative... no 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 yeah sorry i would put a sign over here where the oxidation is see i have mentioned over here where the oxidation is occurring is the negative electrode so oxidation is actually occurring over here it's my mistake so it's a negative and this one is the positive because here the reduction is taking place because its value is greater so here mn2 positive sorry mn4 negative 
प्लस एम एन सॉरी प्लस एट एच पॉजिटिव प्लस फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टर्निंग इन टू एम एन टू पॉजिटिव प्लस टू एच टू एंड इट्स वैल्यू इज पॉजिटिव वन पॉइंट फाइव टू वोल्ट सो इट वन दिस वन इज अ ग्रेटर सो हेयर द रिडक्शन इज अकरिंग एंड इफ द रिडक्शन इज अकरिंग सो इट वुड बी अन पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रोड एंड हेयर देर इज अ मैग्नीशियम टू पॉजिटिव आइन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड एम जी एंड इट्स वैल्यू इज नेगेटिव टू पॉइंट थ्री एट वोल्ट सो हेयर द ऑक्सीडेशन is occurring because the value is negative so if the oxidation is occurring then it would be a negative yes thank you amna is this clear to everyone now if anyone have any doubt kindly ask yes yes is this clear now they are yes. asking for the yes yes okay now they are asking for to construct an equation for this cell so its value is lower and it's undergoing oxidation so i have to flip this equation to make the net, net equation i have to flip this equation so the equation for the half cell where the reduction is taking place is let me write over here mno4 negative plus 5 electrons plus 8 hydrogen ions turning into mn2 positive and four moles of water okay this is a mistake not two but four and i have to flip the equation the other one so i would write magnesium over here then arrow then magnesium two positive ions and then two electrons now to make the net equation i have to balance the equations so if i would balance the equation i would multiply this equation with two and sorry this equation would with five and this equation would two as a result i am going to get 10 electrons over here and 10 electrons over here when the electrons are balanced we can easily cancel out these electrons so what i would have on the reactant side on the reactant side if the first equation is multiplied by 2 so i have a 2 moles of mno4 negative then 2 times 8 hydrogen ions gives me 16h positive in the first equation we are we have these two things on the reactant side then in the second equation we are multiplying it with the it with the five so there would be five magnesium atoms over here then arrow there is nothing on the left side on the reactant side now on the product side two times mn2 positive gives me two moles of mn2 positive and two times four moles of water gives me eight moles of water and five times two moles of magnesium gives me five moles of magnesium two positive ion is this clear yes okay now predict how the cell reaction will change if at all when the solution of magnesium ion magnesium half cell is diluted by the addition of large volume of water okay explain your answer so for this let me write the equation in terms of reduction again that magnesium two positive ions gaining two electron forming magnesium 
and its delta h value is minus 2.38, right? So if I add the water, what would happen that the, because it's an aqueous ion, so on adding water, the concentration of these magnesium ions are going to be decreased, right? Because initially it's a one mole per dm cube. For example, if I added a exactly one decimeter cube of a water, so the whole volume becomes two more, two decimeter cube. So now there is a 0.5 moles of magnesium in one dm cube, which was initially one mole of a magnesium in one dm cube. So the concentration of magnesium ions decreases as a result, the equilibrium shifts to the left to form more magnesium ions. And if it shifts to the left, so the value would decrease. So the value becomes more negative. Okay. But the value is decreasing. But if you see, initially the reaction is occurring in the backward direction for the magnesium because the oxidation is taking place. So to the cell reaction, there is no change happened to the cell reaction. But the value, the eno half cell for this magnesium two positive and magnesium half cell would decrease. So I can write that E of magnesium two positive magnesium decreases, but no change in reaction because initially the reaction is taking place in the backward direction when it is connected with the magnate and magnese to ion half cell. Is this understandable to everyone? Sir, why would the E not decrease? The E not decreases. Who said that E not not will not decrease? Sir, why would it decrease? It decreases because it is the rule that let me show you. Uh, one minute. Where is electro? Here it is. See, for example, here the equation is written. We have discussed it in detail in terms of reduction and its E naught value is this. So if we increase the value of this Fe three positive ions, what would happen? The equilibrium shift towards right, right? Yes, sir. So then what would happen to the E naught value? E naught value would increases. But if I decreases its concentration, then equilibrium shifts to the left. And as yes. a result, the half cell value decreases. Okay, In the so same way, if I increases the concentration of this, then equilibrium shift to the left. And as a result, this value is going to be decreased. And if I decreases its value, then equilibrium 